What is up guys, Fishing Freaks here, aka Mitch. I am here today to be doing a Tackle Warehouse unboxing. Um, I already took everything out, unfortunately. I filmed this previously and I really didn't like how it turned out. For some reason I lost the sound to the video except the beginning where I'm actually unboxing it. Unboxing video. Let's get in it. <clears throat> Dang, this actually works really well. But I have the receipt right here. It came out to a total of $217.12. Um, I also have the sticker. Um, might as well just get right into it. So the first thing I got are these. I got the long sleeve version Tackle Warehouse shirt. And then I also got the t-shirt. You can't have enough of these things. You get them in a bunch of different colors. So the next thing I'm going to talk about, I'm going to get rid of some of the not as exciting baits and uh, equipment. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, I got some VMC round bend treble hooks. These are in size, I got two different sizes. I got size three and I also got size two. Um, I'm going to be using these on both crankbaits and swim baits. I'll show you those in a second. But these are some awesome hooks. These are the 9649BZ hooks. I have no idea what that means, but they're pretty heavy duty hooks, so if you're looking for a good swim bait or crankbait hook, I'd recommend these. The next thing I'm going to talk about is some of this. This is 7 strand made by Berkeley. This is um, uncoated wire, and it's in 60 pound, it's 60 pound, I don't know if you'd call it test, test, te yeah, test. I don't know if you'd call it test or not, but it's uncoated wire, and this also is going to be used on swim baits. Um, and then for the wire, I got some standard sleeves. And what's really cool about these, these are also made by 7 Strand, is they have a chart on the back that shows you what size um, wire you should use with the different sleeves, which comes in handy when you're putting them on these guys. Now, I'm pretty new to the Huddleston game, swim bait game, really. But I've seen a whole lot of videos on guys talking about different ways to rig these things. And I have a couple of them here. I bought three of them. And I don't really see this single hook, um, especially in Minnesota, is getting hit all that often. So I decided to install kind of a trap hook in a, in a sense. Um, not on the bottom, just because I don't want to be getting caught up on weeds and rocks and stuff. So I put it on the top so it's pretty weedless. I don't really know too much about swim baits, so I'm not going to talk about it much. But I think this is going to be a great presentation for catching bigger fish. I also got them in three different colors. Uh, I got just like a perch pattern because there's a lot of perch up here in Minnesota. I got one. I think this one's called Phantom Green Blue. Um, Phantom Blue Green, yeah. Um, and then the other ones are Phantom Smoke, which is a really sweet color. It looks like a shad. Really sweet shad color. And then I also got the Phantom Perch, which is really sweet. I'm going to see if I can get a quick close-up on this. You can see there's a whole lot of detail in these baits. I'm not really going to talk much about them, but I can't wait to throw these things. I think these are going to be big fish baits. So next on my list of things I ordered, I got some Six Sense Bobber Stops. And I talked a bunch about these in my one of my previous vlogs. If you want to check it out, it'll be right up here. So I got a bunch of those. I got five of those. I had a couple from last summer, so I didn't have to get too many. To go with those peg stops, I got a couple of Eco Pro Tungsten Flipping Weights. Uh, the first ones I got were uh, two three-quarter ounce weights. They're in like a moss green. And then I also got two three-eighth ounce, which are also in a moss green, but they're different finishes. These ones, the larger ones are smoother, and these smaller ones are a little bit, they're not smooth. I mean, they're smooth, but they're not painted. They don't have like this nice feel to them. They kind of are rougher. To go with the uh, weights and the pegs, I got some 50-pound... Power Pro line. This is 300 yards, 50 pound Power Pro. This is in moss green, and I use this stuff for everything. I use this stuff from just fishing like a weighted uh, Berkeley Habit Pick Boss all the way up to frog fishing and punching. This stuff is great, versatile line, and I'd recommend it to anybody. I also showed this in one of my vlogs, uh, so go check those out because I am using this stuff all the time. One thing I did forget to mention about um, these swim baits is a lot of times um, to do these different types of uh, rigs 
you're cutting into the plastic a lot and just kind of tearing it up. So uh, I went ahead and bought some Mend It. And if you haven't heard about this stuff, I believe it was Tactical Bassin that did a little bit of a video on this stuff, and it is amazing. I didn't believe them at first how well it holds stuff together, but um, I cut a slit through here just so that I could make the plastic stick a little bit more to the uh, weight inside the bait. And now it doesn't even look like there was ever a cut that went all the way down here. So I would recommend this stuff for anything, not just swim baits. Of course, when you're on Tackle Warehouse, you have to buy a frog or two. So I just bought the all amazing Live Target frogs. I got two different colors, um, both leopard frog patterns, really. I got two different sizes. I got the largest size, and then I also got their medium size. Their small is a little too small, I think. If you're fishing a lake that doesn't have a ton of big fish in it, I think it's a great bait, especially if they're not willing to commit to one of these larger frogs. Almost done with the Tackle Warehouse order. Next, uh, we've got a couple of different soft plastics. I'm just going to start off with these. These are all six inch robo worms. I got them in three different colors in Aaron's Magic, B Height Delight, and Pro Blue Blue Neon Bisp. So I'm going to be throwing these things a lot. I just got some pretty, I don't know, natural looking colors maybe just because a lot of the forage up here in Minnesota is a lot of bluegill and sunfish and perch so I don't really stray too far when I'm picking colors. So the last soft plastics I have today are the Easy Swimmers by Gambler. These things I already made an entire vlog on them. They are amazing. If you haven't seen my video please go check it out because you will want to buy a couple of these by the end of the video. I got them in three different colors. I got them in black and blue, ripe melon which is my go-to color and then I also kind of tried a new color, Gold Rush, which is kind of a green and orange or green and yellow fleck. Um, I think these things are going to work great. I like fishing them alone and then I also like fishing them on a swim jig or a chatterbait. They all work. Any, any way you throw these guys, you're going to get bit. The last bait that I got, which isn't soft plastics, um, I've seen a lot of videos on these lately. And I was kind of hesitant to get one because, I don't know, in Minnesota, if the pike are just going to destroy this thing, the pike and muskies, or uh, it could be a good bass bait. I don't know. I'll just have to try it out. But this is the River to Sea S Waver. This is the 168 size, which I believe is the mid-range or the second largest, third largest bait. Um, this one's in a bluegill color, I believe. It's I think it's six inches long. And... I can't wait to try it out because I've seen the action on these things and it looks really cool. Got a lot of stuff. I can't wait to use it. I still need to get a lot of stuff to be ready for this spring. It's January already, so I gotta start buckling down on all my tackle, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. It really motivates me to keep pumping out new content for you guys. And leave a like on the video and also comment your favorite baits that you can get off a of tackle warehouse because um, I'm trying out a bunch of new baits that I've never used before and I'd love to try out even more. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.